So hey guys in this video we are going to discuss about what is the minimum wages in different provinces and territories of Canada. We will also discuss about which province can be a better option for international students in Canada. Minimum wage is different in different provinces or territories of Canada, meaning they are not uniform. You can see the minimum wage with their province or territory in the screen. The reason behind different wages is difference in their consumer price index. Consumer price index represents changes in prices as experienced by Canadian consumers. It measures price change by comparing through time the cost of a fixed basket of goods and services. The goods and services in the consumer price index baskets are divided into eight major components which are food, shelter, household operations, furnishing and equipment, clothing and footwear, transportation, health and personal care, recreation, education and reading, alcoholic beverages, tobacco products and recreational cannabis. Those provinces or territory in which minimum wage is lower, we can say that they have low cost of living and education. Let's talk about education because as an international student, it is our primary concern. See, if the student who is coming to Canada have to pay college fees of first year and have to purchase GIC. Let me explain about GIC first. It stands for Guaranteed Investment Certificate. And is basically a student transfer $10,000 to a Canadian bank. When an international student teach in Canada, they give back that money to students on a monthly basis for daily needs as a pocket money. I should also mention that not everyone has to get GIC. It is required for students of specific country. So the province which have lower wage, it will mean that the education cost should be lower. So you will have to pay less fee therefore saving some money even before landing in Canada. And the GIC amount is same, meaning if you choose to go in a province with lower wage, you could live more comfortably with it as compared to you living in a high wage province. So this is one benefit and you can also save the GIC money for college. Let me summarize what I have said till now. If you go in a lower minimum wage province, you will save money in college fees even before coming to Canada and a GIC can help you to live a better lifestyle or you could save it and use the money you save for paying for college. Once you land in Canada, it does not matter which province you are because minimum wage is based on consumer price index, meaning you should get same goods and services in Ontario where minimum wage is $15 per hour as that of Manitoba where minimum wage is $11.95. $11 per hour or in any other province or territory. So if you want to save some money, you can go in a province or territory with lower minimum wage. This is all for this video. I hope you like this video. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.